Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Days Genesis 8.1 3D Avatar, what we call the DAG Studio 3D Avatar into Blender 3.4 with Facial Shape Key. And the whole concept I'm going to show you first. You can see this is my DAG Studio 4.21 and for today this is the latest versions and this is Genesis 8.1 Basic Female. And I already, I already designed this avatar, just slightly adding some, some of the cloth. And then, this is the original one, the DAG Studio avatar. And then the next, I export the FBX from DAG Studio and import into Creator Creator 4. This is the CC4. And then, in the CC4, it automatically will generate all the facial morph, the facial shape key, the facial expression. And then finally, from the character creator for you, export it out and import into the Blender. Everything will completely done with the facial shape key. And I will show you. This is the face. Then the shape key is at here. Now, you can see finally in Blender, it has so many of the facial shape key let's say for example this is the the lips lips opened by default it is zero all right and what else the brow raise all right so many facial shape key here that generated by the character creator for so the whole process is from DAG studio to cc4 character creator 4 and from cc4 to blender this whole pipeline process, it make everything ready. And also you can see the skeletons. I go to the post mode and already ready for you to create the, the animation because everything already read properly and already have certain. Now you can see everything already work correctly. So what you need to do is just create the shape key Oh no, you no need to create the shape key, it already created for you and you only need to create a keyframe to perform the 3D animation or you rig it with the rigify, etc. retargeting process. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. I close the blender and I, I also close the character creator for this one totally start from, from a new fresh project like this. So start from DAG Studio, the Days Studio from here. And what you are going to do is just export it out. Show you step by step. Click File, Export. And then, as demo, I'm going to export on my desktop the file name. I will just name this. I create a new folder. Name this as DAG Genesis 8.1 Female Original. Alright, I export it into this folder. Control C to copy. And I will paste, paste it here as the destination. The file name, I will just name this as DAG Genesis 8.1 Female as the FBX file. Save, save it. Now it is saving. You have to ex accept it here. Now it is exporting as FBX file. This is the first step. So the tutorial summary, it will be from, from DAG to CC4. All right, this is the first step done. The DAG Genesis 8.1 female, the original. So now, next, open the character creator 4. Just choose a transformer, CC3+, plus, and then just import from my desktop. You can see this is this is directly from DAG Genesis 8.1's original. So now I import into the character creator for this FBX file by using the transformer. It is automatic convert everything and create the facial morph. Yeah, you just need to choose the basic. And then bake the body texture, just take it and then Click OK. All of this already take it. 
at this moment just wait for a while now it is importing and remeshing everything create the, the facial facial expression morph etc to open mouth whatever if you directly import the the original VAT FBX into Blender, it doesn't have the facial morph and the skeleton maybe some problem, but just by using the character creator for it to convert once and generate the facial shape keys, then later it is easier to use. So here just wait for a while. It is almost done. Alright, done. And now the next step, just apply a T-pose. Put here. The animations. Just choose a pose under the calibration folder, the T-pose. Right now. Just check that you can see this. This mesh already have some penetrations. So just press Q and double click to select this, this pants, this bottom. Then at, at here, click Edit Mesh, click Scope, here, Pull. Then just click on that to make sure it pull out, do not have the penetration. Once done already, click Edit Mesh one more time, everything done. So now this, this is this is already become the character creator for avatar here. And first you just save it as a backup. Click file, save the project as. And as demo, I will save on my desktop as the default CC project the file name is okay. I click save. All right. Next, just create a new folder. You are going to export it out from character creator 4. Now it already automatic generate all of the facial expression shape keys. So this new folder I'm going to new I'm going to name this as this Genesis 8.1 converted by CC4, the correct creator 4. So the FBX I'm going to export it here. Click file, export FBX, the cloth character. Because in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to how, how to import the, the day's Genesis 8.1 into the Blender 3.4 and in between we are using the Character Creator 4 to generate the facial shape key. So finally we are going to import into Blender 3.4. So in your Character Creator 4 here, the target tool preset you must choose the, the Blender. This is compulsory. And then the FBX motion, you just choose the mesh and embed the texture. Like this, then click export. And if this on my desktop, the folder, I export in this Genesis 8.1, 8.1 converted by CC4. The file name, I'm going to name this as this Genesis 8.1 female 01. This is just the file name, it's okay, no problem, I click save. Now it is exporting the, the FBX file, done. Once done already, I may just close the character creator for. Right, next. It is coming to the Blender. For today, the latest Blender's version, the latest version of the Blender is Blender 3.4, of course, for today. Right, next step, what you are going to do is just go and get the CC Blender tool. This is a plugin. You may just go to the official site, the github.com subday cc blender tool to get the zip file. This is the plugin. Download the zip file or you can get it from my alternative link as well. Once you get this, this plugin, it is a zip folder, it is a zip file. And it is like this. You no need to unzip it, just keep it as a zip file. And then once you open your Blender, this is Blender 3.4, the first step, I delete everything from here. Next, you have to install the plugin. Just go to the Edit Preferences. <coughs> Under the Add-on, click Install. From the Install here, select the desktop, find the zip file, the CC Blender Tools main, it is at here. 
So install the add-on, done. Next, just search it, search from here, CC, sorry, CC4. Okay, just type CC, then you should be able to see the characters, CC icon tools. You have to make sure you click it, make sure you activate it, then close. Then, once everything already done, the plugin also done already, you press N. The CC IC pipeline will be here, CC icon pipeline. From here, you import the character. Import, import from the desktop, the one that you converted by using the CC4. So I will just import that particular FBX file. This is the one. Just now, converted by CC4, this FBX. Just choose the correct directory locations. Double click to import it. Now you can see it already successfully imported. And then I can press one more time, press N to deactivate it. Just, just have a look now, all the texture already done properly. And then the skeletons, I click the skeletons, click here. The viewport display, I just make it in the front so that I can see everything. So this is just a test. And then for now, we can test the shape key. Just click the face and come into here. All the shape keys are ready. So we can just test it. Just have a look. All right, let's say the mouth, smile, left hand side. Let's say if I drag it to become one, you can see all of this facial shape key. You can you can just create any of the keyframe to create a 3D animation. By default, it is zero. So I can just backspace it and type zero, press enter. Then it will back to normal. All right, what else? There are really a lot of these facial shape keys. Actually, they are generated by you see the character creator for everything re really easy. All right now you can see mouth blow, left hand side, right hand side, all right. So all of this, you can use it. What else? Mouth opens, is that any mouth open, mouth close, the jaw opens. The lip opens. All, right. All of this you can utilize it. And now we already successfully imported the this Genesis 8.1, the DAG Studio from the DAG Studio. Just use the character creator for to convert it and generate the facial shape key. Now everything already imported into Blender 3.4 with shape with facial shape key. And then we test the skeletons. Click the skeletons, go to the post, post mode, and now just that's it. Everything okay. Yes, everything okay. How about this? Right, done. Alright, that's all for today about my sharing of how to import the DLZ Genesis 8.1 3D avatar into Blender 3.4 with the facial shape keys, everything done. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial and sharing, if you feel all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing. See you.